Hello, YouTube. Hello, people. Hello, dear friends. All the fanatics for political cable. Hello guys, I'm Pavel here again. Welcome back to my channel. A very short video, and I promise it will be very short. Uh, I'm in the middle of uh, working on my new project and just uh, fiddling around with the uh, battery and uh, the uh, ESCs, which uh, were blown on the batteries I've inherited. I'm trying to recycle some batteries, and uh, this one here will uh, be an absolute monster battery with uh, Samsung 30Qs, which I have already installed. But anyway. This video know about this. If you're interested, you can see uh, other videos I will come up with. They will be covering my new build, which I think will be absolutely awesome. Uh, we have a 5,000 watt uh, dual motor uh, flexible carbon fiber board. Uh, awesome. Anyway, so one of the parts that you will always need uh, to complete your DIY uh, build uh, will be a remote. I personally think that this market is still a bit weak. Uh, there are some remotes out there, like mini bo uh, mini um, uh, remote or uh, mini V2 as well, which I've used on my tank uh, project. It was all right. Did drop out to me a couple of times, but nothing major. Uh, but in general, out there, it's quite hard to just uh, Google a DIY remote and get something uh, decent. Uh, for this build that I'm doing now. I have decided to uh, go for something that's in this box right now. Uh, this remote was recommended to me by someone uh, on the uh, SK8 uh, Facebook page. I think it's a worldwide page. And uh, I'm not sure where the fellow is from, but thank you, buddy. You know who you are, probably. And uh, this video is quickly to take a look at what remote I've chosen, what is it, and how does it look like. So, guys, the remote I went for is in this box it was delivered just like this obviously the packaging around it but this is the box you get the top of the box nice and plain nothing to it so what we got in here is the remote itself also the uh, charging cable uh, the lanyard to go around your wrist a bit small which I don't like much because as you can see it's ah here we go and I broke it okay so lanyard is uh, not good from this company use something else that's not a big deal that's who cares it's just a piece of string uh, you will also get a uh, battery in this kit which is not pre-installed so you've got yourself a uh, 720 milliamp uh, 3.7 volt uh, battery you have to stick that into the remote to make it work which is cool and then you get the receiver and that's the receiver that comes with the control I'm about to use. Uh, yeah, nothing special, but again, uh, I got some good uh, reviews on this. I've read about it, and it seems like it's quite strong signal, doesn't drop out. It's 2.4 uh, hertz, so yeah, should be okay. This remote here is the Alien Power Systems DIY electric skateboard remote. You don't have to use it for a for skateboard, it could be for anything else. But in this uh, situation, it will be for the electrical skateboard. So this is the way it looks. Red, black, you got this uh, alien symbol on it, which is quite nice. This one here is the trigger. I'm right-handed, so this is the way it's going to look in my hand, just like this. And uh, yeah, this is the way you activate the remote. So pretty much pull the trigger backwards, that's your acceleration. Then you pull the trigger forward and that's your braking. It's a bit different from the other remotes I've used so far. I do normally use the uh, thumb operated remote. So this is the type of the remote I'm normally using on my boat, which is a thumb operated. I'm kind of got used to it, uh, but for this build I thought why not to use the trigger one, plus it has really good reviews on the connectivity. So, Alien Power Systems, remote controller and receiver, plus charger and the battery. Uh, very quickly about it, it does feel quite nice quality. It does have this rubberized texture 
uh, to the remote itself so it's not like a uh, plastic uh, sound or feel to it it's got this uh, rubbery uh, coating which is quite nice I uh, got a couple of buttons here on and off and channel 2 uh, binding button then the trimming and also you got the on and off little switch and the charging port on and off switch it's quite good it's tucked away it's very very small it does not protrude whatsoever which is good so you cannot accidentally hit it when you are actually operating the remote which I think is a benefit how does it work I don't know this is only on packaging review and the first opinion I've paid 47 pounds for this uh, remote uh, delivered uh, not very cheap but also not overly expensive uh, the choice is very limited out there so hopefully this remote will work out nicely uh, some guys will probably recognize this remote uh, a little bit uh, there are remotes out there that are very similar looking but they got this big ass antenna on them and the battery is right underneath here very big I think this is that remote just converted into a smaller package maybe I'm wrong I don't know but anyway that's the way this remote looks like you pretty much just uh, remove the screw pop the cover open take the battery plug it tuck the battery and the cable back into the case nice and neat or as neat as you can like so put the cover back on put the screw back in tighten up and use the provided cable put it on charge alien uh, power systems remote controller and receiver when I build my board stick around take a look at my new build and uh, you'll see if this remote performs at all and if it does great if it doesn't eh, well I've tried anyway thank you for watching all the best please subscribe and like if you don't I don't really care but one thing I care about is please guys ride safely